inside of the chat. So Holly and Keiko and Jillian, there should be in the chat everything you need today. I'm using a mat, I'm using a set of fives, and I'm also using a set of ankle weights. If you don't have those things, it's totally okay. So we're going to start by all starting our music together. It's in the chat under Spotify playlist. Let's hit play in three, two, one, hit it. Once you hit play, we're going to come back and we're going to warm up. Our warm up is about four minutes. So inside the chat, everything you need, I'm going to pop it in one more time in case for some reason it's blank. And we're going to start with a nice, easy march. So it's up with the knees, chest is tall, shoulders are back. You've got four. Good. Breathe in, exhale. Last three, last two, last one, side squat, right to left. I reach out and up, out and up. Inhale, down, exhale, squeeze the legs together. Lots of arms today, lots of interesting cardio where we put together some combinations. So goal is to kind of make the mind-body work together. Give me one more on the right, one more on the left. Good, step your feet together, transverse squat, wide squat, step it together, two jabs. Do it again. Diagonal squat, wide squat, feet together, two jabs. One more time. Diagonal squat, wide squat, feet together, two jabs. Mandy, I'm not jumping. Then you do it this way. Diagonal, wide, two half jacks. I'll do this modified version for you on the side. Wide, step, two half jacks. One more time, diagonal, wide, two half jacks or full jacks. Awesome, from here, I want you to step back just a little bit. Find balance on your right foot, hinge at the waist, tap the floor with your fingers and rise, switch your feet. Hinge at the waist, tap the floor with the fingers, and squeeze. One more time, both sides. Hinge at the waist, tap the floor with the fingers, bend the knees as much as you need, and last one on the left. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna have us come down to a kneeling position. So if you need a mat under your knees, grab it. Otherwise, bring your hands to this like fighter's stance and give me some torso twists. Right, left, right, left. As I make my way across the room here, I'm kind of driving my elbows into my ribs. So you can feel abdominal engagement just by engaging through this midsection. Nice and quick for four, for three. Warm up is about a minute to go. I want you to meet me on your four, all fours here. Step it back to high plank. We have push-ups today. Mandy, what if I'm not into push-ups? That's okay. You could bend your knees, do a push-up here, pop back up into plank. Bend your knees, do it again. Just drive into that push-up, pop back up. Good, two more. Still in the warm-up here. Some strength work here to get us started. Last push-up in the warm-up. Then I want you to lift off the knees, drive back to down dog, step your feet a little closer together. Nice. From there, press the chest back, pull the belly button in, nod the head from right to left, and up and down. From here, meet in the middle with the hands and the feet. Tuck your chin, take your hands behind your ears, roll your way up to stand tall, and we'll do it again. Round down. Roll up to stand tall. Do it one more time. The warm-up is over after this, and rise to stand up tall. Good. Shake out the hands, shake out the shoulders, grab that sip of water if you need it. And we're gonna get going on the first block of work. The first block is cardio. All you need is you. Everything we're doing is body weight. If you wanted to add ankle weights, we could do that in second set, or you could put them on right now. I'll do it in my second set so you guys can see what that looks like. All right, are we ready? Say yes, hands to the screens. Boom, timer starts in three seconds, two, and one, you're gonna join me with a pivot and then a triple shuffle. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, three, pivot. So I'm pivoting off my heels, turning my body 
all the way to the sides of the room. One, two, three, pivot drop. One, two, three. If I'm not jumping, I step back one, two, three, pivot. Step back one, two, three, and pivot. Step back one, two, three, and pivot. Good, finishing in two and one. Next exercise, another combo. You're gonna move into a side and front single leg punch. So it's side, front, cross, cross. Yes, yes. Then it's the other side. Side, front, cross, cross. Side, front, cross, cross. Side, front, cross. If you wanted to make this a little easier, because that's impactful, I'd go side, front, sweep, sweep. Side, front, sweep, sweep. Side, front, sweep, sweep. Side, front. So it's fairly quick. We never want to lock the elbow out. When we come out to the side, we kind of retract pretty quickly, almost like we're trying to keep our hand from someone else. This is three, two, last little combo here. One skate, two skate, three skate, back kick. One, two, three, kick it back. One, two, and if I, again, if I'm not jumping, I'm gonna take a big step right, big step left, find that balance and kick. Side, side again, side again. Try not to lose your balance. I know I'm not great at balance, but I get better with practice. But you got one more thing to learn. And we did it a little bit in the warm up. It's those slips. But we're going to do a little added bonus for that. This is three, two, guard your face. Good. We're going to slip right, left, twist, twist, twist. Left, right, twist, twist, twist. <laughs> right, left, twist, twist, twist. Left, right, twist, twist, twist. The twisting is secondary to the side bend. Side bend, one, two, three. Side, side, one, two, three. Side, side, one, two, three. Side, side, one, two, three. You're keeping your arms up. Now in the second variation of this, I could add my dumbbells, my fives. Three, two, that's the rest. Okay, so there's a lot going on in this set, we only have 25 seconds to rest. So if you want to put your ankle weights on, you're going to do that now. I'm saying that mostly to me. So don't forget putting on your ankle weights. If you so choose, no pressure. We get started with our second set in five, four, starting with the triple shuffle. Pivot, two and one, here we go. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, drop. One, two, three, maybe I touch the floor. One, two, three, maybe I touch the floor. Drop in, drop in. When I drop in, I wanna make sure to drop my hips with me, rise. Again, the modification could be step, 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 pivot down, touch the floor. Step, 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 pivot, touch the floor. Keep going. If you wanted to make it harder, I make it bigger. Four, three, two. All right, guard your face, bend your knees. Out, forward, cross, cross. Out, forward, cross, cross. Out, forward, cross, cross. So you're standing up tall with a soft bend in the elbows and the knees. We never want to lock this joint or this joint. Guard your face with your hands to cross, or they could be sweeps. Side punch, front punch, two more. Side front, side front. Athletic stance. We don't want to lock those knees out when we're doing our cross punches or our punch, of punch to the side. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, triple skate back kick. I go over to one side, the other, find that single leg kick. One. This is one of my favorite kind of go-to cardio movements. 
because it has a coordination element. It has a balance element. Of course, my heart rate is up. So I like it because I'm getting a lot of different elements in one movement for one 45 second interval. Ooh, I just kicked my cat. That was weird. It was the, it was the wall. <sighs> nice. I could make this harder by getting lower and moving quicker. Otherwise, big steps. This is three, two, one. Okay, here's that slip nonsense, right? So guard your face. Maybe you've been using your dumbbells. Guard your face. Lean, lean, twist, twist, twist. Lean, lean, twist, twist, twist. Lean, lean, twist, twist, twist. There's no wrong answer which way you lean to first which way you twist to first, don't overthink it. Just move that torso, lean, lean, twist, 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 lean, lean, twist, twist, twist. You're done in four, three, two, one. Set the dumbbells down because you made it. That is the end of your very first block of work, our cardio block. I have my ankle weights on, I will need them for our first block of strength. We also might wanna add our weights in, but to make things simple, I'm just gonna use my ankle weights in the first round of this activity. So while you're in recovery, I'm gonna demonstrate for you your first activity. It's a single leg, transverse squat, wide squat, leg sweep. We only move one side, then we move the other side. Those are the first two actions we've got going on. Second two actions is a split. Also, I find a split squat. I'm gonna lift my front leg and heel. Lift, bring that heel in for the heel dig, okay? Just one side, we'll start with the right. Timer starts in two, one. Here we go, transverse squat. Wide squat, sweep the leg, return. Diagonal, wide, sweep. Do it again. Diagonal, wide, sweep. On the sweep, I'm using my arms to find my counterbalance. Diagonal, nice and deep in the wide squat, and find that sweep across the hip, internal rotation. Out, side, cross. Do it again. We got time for one more after this. Four, three, two, switch your foot. So now my left leg will be moving with me here. It's the transverse squat, wide squat, bring it into that sweep. Transverse, wide, sweep. Again, trans, wide, boom. So that transverse squat is showing it to you from the side. My foot stays planted. I'm bringing it into a diagonal or plie, wide so that they're parallel, and then across. So we're getting external and internal rotation, okay? This is four. Oh, I'm saying it way too early. We got 10 seconds. I just got excited, you know? Mondays. This is four. Three, two, okay. Right foot is forward, left foot is back. I'm gonna show this to you from the side because it's most successful. Drop into my uh, split lunge, lift my front leg, heel to the back, lift, land and kick, lift, land and kick. I could move quicker if I wanted to. My hips are square, my legs are bent. I lift that front foot up. I kick the back heel to my own seat, lift, and kick, showing this to you from the other angle with the front leg out, right? Drop in, lift that front foot, lift the back foot, front foot. The front leg lift is a lot harder because most of our weight's here, right? Let's try the other side and see how it fares. Left foot forward, right foot back, get in, lift and heel, lift and heel. I'm less concerned with quantity here. I'm more concerned with the quality of the landing of that front foot, the mobility of the hip in that sagittal plane for the last 15 seconds. Drop into those legs. 
So then scissor those inner thighs towards each other. Lift and kick. Yes, team, you've got four seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, that's the end of your first strength set. Notice it's totally lower body. So in your second set, if you wanted to add some dumbbells, you could. We could add a little arm work. I'll show you ways to make that a little more interesting. And then if you can imagine, our strength set for, for block four will be mostly upper body, okay? Don't hate me, hate the game. So for example, if I wanted to make it a little harder this time, I would hold my fives. And I would wrap them right in front of, not on my shoulders, okay? So they're right here, right below my jawline. Starting on the left in three, two, one. Diagonal, wide, sweep. Nice, right? Diagonal, wide, sweep. Do it again. Nice and slow. Diagonal, wide squat, sweep. And as I'm sweeping, I'm just driving my arms behind my hips. Wide with the sweep. Do it again. Diagonal. Reset every time. Diagonal, wide, drop across. Good, we got time for one more. Diagonal, wide, we switch our feet. So reset your rack if you're using your dumbbells. Diagonal squat, wide squat, sweep across. Diagonal, wide, my body's like, wait a second, what are we doing? There's a lot of things to think about. So if you're like just having a hard time putting these things together, forget the weights. Do the legs, they're the star of this show. Working that internal external rotation in the hip. Wide, kick it back. Can you get heel, the heel across that hip joint on your standing leg? Good team, we've got time for one more. Okay, left foot forward, right foot back. I'm holding my weights. I'm going to lift and kick. Lift and kick. If I wanted to make it a little more interesting, lift, connect, don't hit your fingers, kick. Lift, connect, and lift that back foot. Lift and connect. When I'm connecting, showing this to you three close by, I'm trying to get the heads of the dumbbell to touch behind my thigh muscle, okay? If that's not working, that's okay. Just keep the weights at the sides. Lift and kick. Lift and kick. Let's switch our legs here. Last bit of strength. Here we go. Drop into the legs. Lift, connect, kick. Less is more. Land as light as you can. I know for me, my right side is like, what? What are we doing? Upper body stays lifted, slight pitch forward, lift and connect. Heel drives into that seat group. Showing to you head on one more time as we wrap this up. Drop into those legs, lift and kick. Maybe I connect those arms. Lift, connect, kick. Lift, connect, you're done in four. Three, last one for the day. Two, one. She is done. Okay, set the dumbbells down. We're gonna keep the ankle weights on for core. So in the core work, first set, if you wanna use a mat, I would. Um, we are, we're gonna start standing, but we'll end up on the floor. So I'm just gonna take my mat and lay it out while we're in this recovery period. Um, also, while you're in this recovery period, grab a sip of water, you're doing it. We did. So two blocks are underneath our belt. We have three blocks left to go. We never see these actions again. Four core moves, we start standing. Let me show you what's going on in that first standing activity. My feet are going to be about, uh, I would say my toes are turned out this first position. Okay, so heels are really grounded in and touching. My hands come behind my ears. All right, I'm gonna tuck my chin. I'm gonna roll myself down all of the way. Rise my way up. Then I'm going to lean and lean, okay? Timer starts in two and one. First position, 
Tuck the chin, roll your way down. Take a moment in the pause, roll your way up. Bring that heel, lift and lift. Connect those heels again. You might have to reset, I know I do. I round my spine, I roll down. I exhale, I rise my way up. Connect, side bend, connect. I'm gonna show this to you from the side, I think it's super helpful. We're finishing out about eight seconds of time to finish this rep. Rise your way up, side lean right, side lean left. Okay, now we're gonna come down to the mat, okay? I'm on both of my knees. My arms are all the way over my head. I'm gonna lean to one side. Then I'm going to pull my arms back to my chest, return and rise, other side. Lean, reach, rise. Good, other side, back to that first side. Pull, return, and rise. I'm doing this body weight, could I use my weights? Yes, and maybe, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, I use them in the second set. This is four, three, two, one. All right, last challenge in this. This is the only static hold we have in the whole class. So forearms come to the floor, legs slide back, and you hold your forearm plank. Now I've got good news. This isn't the only forearm plank we have going on today. So focus mostly on pushing that ground away from you. You saw me just make that shoulder adjustment. Make sure your shoulders are not really round and tucked towards the chin. We're trying to create length from earlobe to top of the shoulder for six more seconds. This is six, five, four, three, two. That's the end of your first round of core. So take a moment, breathe, and rest, because you earned it. Um, we're gonna do all of that again, and I'm gonna bring into the equation my dumbbells. So if you wanna use dumbbells, cool. If not, no big whoop. So for example, when I move into this first position roll down, my hands are bracing my ears. My fingertips are right here. I'm gonna roll myself down with the dumbbells, which is actually a lot harder than it sounds, and then roll to rise my way up. Then I'm going to lean to one side, and then the other side, okay? We're gonna go together in three, in two, and in one. Tuck the chin, tuck the tail, roll your way down. Pause, inhale. Exhale, roll your way up. Good, connect to the side, connect to the other side. Do it again, I'm gonna show this at a little bit of an angle here. Around my spine, my fingertips are at the backs of my ears. I roll my way up, I lean, I connect, I lean, I connect. I'm less concerned with how many, right? Because my hands are above my heart. I wanna go slow. I wanna focus on that rounded spine as I lower and I lift, okay? You're done in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, keep the weights. Come on down to that kneeling position that we talked about a moment ago. Tuck your tailbone. Arms reach up, my palms face into each other. I'm gonna lean to one side, pull the weights in, push the weights up, and rise. If this does not feel good on your low back, then keep your weights here, lean. Maybe I just take that outside arm and push. And then I lean, I take that outside arm and push. That's a modification. Otherwise, if you can, maybe you keep those arms up, I pull them in, no rotating, I'm just leaning to the sides. So showing this to you from the side might be super helpful here. In this instance, my arms are up. I'm gonna lean, pull, push, and return, and then lean to the other side. Pull it in, push it away, and return. Good. All right, drop the dumbbells off. Meet me in a forearm plank position. Now I have good news and I've got good news. Forearm plank, all you have to focus on is the breath. Could I lower my knees? Yes, but instead I could keep my legs lifted and work on that shoulder retraction and protraction. I talked about it last time. 
I did a little movement, pulling my shoulder blades together and pushing them away from each other. Maybe you can see this head on, maybe not, let me know. So in this position, I let my shoulders drop, I round my spine. I let my shoulders drop, I round my spine. You got about 15 seconds. Yeah, you're working on it, right? Knees can be down. You've got five, four, three, two, that's it. All right, core section's over. You do not need your ankle weights, so you can take them off if you want. And we're gonna move into strength for the upper body. So you will need your weights. You will want your weights if you have them. And if you don't have weights, remember, all of this can be done by weight, okay? So right now, we're resting, we're having fun, we're glad we're here. And we're gonna move into that strength section. We're starting with the hard work. We're starting with the push-up. The push-up looks like this. This is the floor. I'm gonna do an uneven push-up with my right arm above my head, left arm at my chest height. Then I switch, then I switch, then I switch. And each push-up, I'm just gonna switch with my hand placement, okay? Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. We're gonna get going here about 15 seconds. Come on down to your plank position. We're doing the work, we're here, we're glad we're coming. And away we go. Timer starts in five, four, there we go. Three, two, right hand a little higher than the head, left hand at chest height. One push, switch the arm placement, the other push. My elbows, this one would bend out, this one will bend back. So it's like a narrow push and a wide push. And we're alternating each time. My feet are about shoulder width apart for optimal stability here. What if I wanna make this harder? What I would do here is, I would add the arms way out in front of me, bend the elbows, lift. Come back to the uneven push-up, other uneven, and then of course adding in this way overhead elbow and extend. This is two, and that is one. Grab one single dumbbell, that's all you need. We're in a modified side plank position. I'm on the hand of my left, to my right. <laughs> Left leg is gonna lift up. My left arm will fly all the way open. Bend my elbow and push. Come back in front of the chest. Rotate, open, bend, and extend. My palm faces the, the camera in this case. I rotate, I open. My arm is straight there. I bend it in as if I'm trying to bring something to my ear and I extend. Good, we've got this time. Switching arms in four, three, two. Literally just switch the side of the mat that you're on. Lift that top leg. I open up the arm. I bend the elbow, like I'm trying to bring it right to my earlobe. Push and rotate across. Lift, how slow? How slow can you go, right? And this leg here is fully extended. My heel is pushing towards that side wall. Good team, we've got about 10 more seconds on the second side and then we'll need our second dumbbell. And we're gonna be in a seated position on our glutes. Four, three, two, and one. But come on down to a cross-legged position. Cross-legged position here. Just sit up nice and tall. Arms are gonna start at the sides. Palms down, palms forward, palms down, release halfway. So my arms are not touching the floor. Lift, palms forward, palms down, half lower. Lift, palms forward, palms down, and lower. Mandy, this is really bothering my ear, my um, elbow or my forearm or whatever. You can always bend the elbows a little bit. So see how that bend in the elbow immediately gives me a little bit more ability to lift with power. You're done in four, three, two, and that is time. Good, okay, great. So take a quick moment, towel off, know where your weights are. If you wanted to add the ankle weights in for the leg lift, now would be the time to add those in. I'm not gonna do that just because we still have another block left. 
and we should probably think about how we can serve our energy as as we move through through this workout. Okay, so second round of all of it. Timer starts in four, three, two, it's push-ups, okay? Come on down, push-ups, uneven. One arm forward, the other arm forward. Maybe both arms reach to the corners of the mat. I bend and extend my elbows. I bring it back to the uneven push-up. Other arm, and maybe I reach both arms forward. I tap those elbows. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't actually touch my mat. I get a little bit bent, but I don't really get a huge bend because I know I probably wouldn't be able to pick myself back up. But if you can, try it out, right? This is three. It's the last set of push-ups, two, and one. Okay, upper body strength. I'm going to start on my left hand. Right leg is up. I peel open. I bend the elbow and I return to twist. Now this time, can I make the twist bigger? I open out, I bend it in, I open it back out, and I rotate. Watch my shoulder, I come all the way down, all the way open. Bend, extend. That arm is right over my torso for four seconds, three seconds. Pushing the ground away from me, lifting that bottom leg, and we'll switch our arms. So now I'm balancing on the other foot, lifting, rotating, reaching, bend the elbow in, push open, and rotate even further, almost to the point of, I, can I make it without losing my stability? I'm not worried about how many of these I'm getting done. If I get three really good ones done, that's a successful set. In my opinion. Good team. We got 10 more seconds to go on this upper body strength. And look, my assistant has arrived. She's just, you know, like 30 minutes late. Three, two, we're going to take our seat. So taking our seat on our seat, cross legged, arms start about 45 degrees out. Lift, turn the palms forward, and half lower. Lift, turn the palms forward. I'm not locking my elbows. Half lower. Lift, turn the palms forward, and half lower. Right? Lift. 15 more seconds. Even if your cat wants all the petting in the world, I want you to keep on going. Lift. Turn the palms forward, you're done in five, four, three. Thank you so much for your help. And that's time. All right, she's an assistant. I mean, she doesn't get paid. No, I know. Okay, so we need a rest. All right, so last block of work, it's all cardio. If you want, you could absolutely add weights and ankle weights to this equation. And I will in the second round. So the first round, I'm just going to focus on what I'm up to. Because again, these are combos. And then in the second round, I'll jazz it up with um, the ankle weights. Okay? All right, my friends. We got about 15 seconds. You do not. Eh, well, you might want your mat. So I'm going to leave my mat out just because I think it's nice to have if, I, if I'm hopping around. Okay. Deep breath in, let it out. We're gonna start here, two jacks, two sweeping side squats, and just make sure you're not gonna step on anybody. All right, here we go. Two jacks, side squat right, side squat left. Two jacks, side squat left, side squat right. If you can remember to alternate your lead leg, great. If you cannot, I just want you to focus on one element at a time. And if you're not jumping, it's going to be two half jacks, two side squats, two half jacks, right? Two side squats. You got 10 more seconds. Yeah. Finishing in four, three, two, meet me in fast feet. We're gonna go around in a quarter, or excuse me, in a half turn, 
fast feet around in another half turn fast feet and then you're going to go in the opposite direction half turn fast feet half turn fast feet mandy i'm not jumping high knee march turn yourself all the way around and then turn yourself all the way back around there's no wrong answer fast feet get a little lower half turn do it again and one more time you've got five four three two time last second last thing arms out like you're holding two other rockets knee in kick knee in kick knee in don't trip on your own foot i'm trying to point my toes cross kick cross kick arms are out knee comes in knee extends if you're not jumping take the jumping out bring it in kick bring it in kick it's still quite engaging and just imagine when or if you add ankle weights in three two last challenge four corner hop touch the floor here we go right foot one two three four touch the floor switch one two three four touch the floor i'm trying to hop front back side side if i don't it's not the end of the world but in the next set of this i'm going to offer up a little more work one two three four bend and touch the floor one two you're finishing it out bend and touch the floor that's the end of the set we have one more set to go option to add your ankle weights in so i'm going to do that we go in about 20 seconds no pressure none at all we have three minutes of work time left. Can we do it? Say yes. yes. Okay, we're gonna get started here in about five seconds. Starting with two jacks, two side squats. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, down, down. One, two. Mandy, what if I wanted to make this harder? I could make it two jacks, squat, jump down, Squat jump down. Two, one, squat. Squat jump. Adding a little plyometric that is really good for our bones in the end, right? That impactful movement. But not everybody's there. So listen to what your body needs. Low impact is, of course, the halves. This is three. This is two. Meet me in fast feet half turn fast feet half turn again fast feet around the other way fast feet quarter turn excuse me i keep saying quarter turn it's a half turn good you're over the halfway mark use those arms i feel a significant difference in the legs adding the weight from the ankle weights so if that means slowing it down and working to your best ability so you keep good habits, then by all means, right? Three, two, finish this one out. One, okay, arms out. I'm starting this low impact because I do have those ankle weights on. So last time I mentioned, you could take all the hopping out, just bring that knee in, then extend that toe towards the palm, facing down to the side. Or bring in a little hop. Can anyone tell that I was never a rockette? Never happened. However, I can utilize their kind of drills that work for my body for fitness. That does not mean I'm attempting to be the best dancer in the world. I'm moving my body the best way I can. That is time. 
Last challenge. Balance on the foot. Front, back, side, side. I touch the floor. I walk it all the way out to plank. I walk it all the way back. Hop and switch. One, two, four. Try not to roll your ankle. Walk it out. <laughs> walk it back. Right? Because she's not perfect. She's just doing her absolute best here to do the work and cue. It's harder than it seems, but I accept the challenge. Your finish line is in five, four, three, two, one, wherever you're at, knees down, rest. If you have ankle weights on, go ahead and take those things off. And we'll stretch as a team. So if you're still banging out to Rihanna, go ahead and move your playlist to our second to last track called Formula. If you can stick around for a stretch, it's 1.14. We've got a couple of minutes. If you cannot, that's okay too. First thing first, take your hands to your hips, bring your feet nice and wide apart. Tuck your tailbone forward, roll it around in a circle. Come back through the center. Roll in the opposite side. Let's do one more hip circle all the way around the back wall and all the way forward. Nice. Right hand comes to the side of the body. Left arm is going to come behind the ear. Lean as far as you can here. So you're kind of bracing the side body with the hand. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to rotate across and open out. One more time. Rotate down, separating the scapula from spine on the left. Rise up. Left hand comes to the side. Right hand comes to behind the ear, and I'm leaning. I'm using this braced leg, and then I'm going to lift my chest, really separating ribs here. Round in and round open or flat and open. We do one more time since we did just two on the first side. We're back through center. All right, find balance in your right foot. Take your left knee into your chest, rotate that hip, return, and set it down. Let's do it on the left. Right knee in, rotate that hip, and return. One more time, both sides. Left knee comes in, left ankle crosses, and it sets down. One more time. On the right leg, cross it, and release. Take the arms behind the back, open up the chest, clasp the hands, yet tuck the chin. So now we're separating all this muscle in the front body to do some push-ups today. Walk the ear over to one side, back to the center, over to the other side, and back through center. Wing out the wrists, roll those shoulders back, put your hands together because you did it, we did it as a team. Thank you so much for coming. Happy holidays to everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week ahead.